What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Delta Rune. In the last episode, we made our way into this world. We found out about our our Prince of Darkness friend, and we had quite the encounter with Susie. And here we are, going off to find these fountains or geysers of darkness and do something with them. I guess the the graphics and the music have been incredible so far, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what else we have going on. So. Without further ado, er, Chris, you know you can hold X to run. Oh, I can. Really? Right, you'll move faster by holding X. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which case, sorry. Aww. Oh, I can run a bit faster. You know what they say. Well, rather, you know what they say, uh, in the words of a famous hedgehog, gotta go fast. Oh, Chris, it's the training dummy I made. Typical for the the self-deprecating character to make a training dummy that looks just like themselves. Now seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? Sure. Okay, get ready, Chris. Ooh, this music! I'm digging it so much. See that heart, Chris? I love the gradient colored text. That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So, please take care to avoid the enemy's attack. Ready? Let's try dodging! Cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn, Chris. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Can I act? Hug? Hug Ralse? Sure. You hug Ralse. <laughs> or Ralse. <laughs> Chris? Um, I don't think um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But. Let's try fighting. Okay, so I will try fighting, I guess. I see. Oh, sorry, Chris. I forgot to mention. When you're attacking, press Z again when the cursor goes in the box. I'm sure there's some easter egg about around not attacking or whatever it may be, but that's fine for now. Wow, Chris! That was an amazing attack! Have you done this before or something? Okay, next let's try defending. Ooh, there's a defend option. Simply defend and the enemy's attack will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also gather TP. Watch the orange big bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Great job, Chris. Now that you've gathered TP. How about spending the TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy, though. Or, because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now, if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep. And we'll win peacefully. Okay. That, that works. Ooh, a heal prayer? Interesting. So, pacify on the dummy. Or I'll say cast. Pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting through this, even the most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though it's just a dummy, why not give it a hug? Sounds good to me. You hug the dummy. Aww, spread the love. Aw, that's great, Chris. Each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When an enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing if we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. Alright, so let's, let's give this spare a go. Whoa, the, the color of the dummy text is interesting. Chris spare dummy. I feel like it turns yellow when it's able to be spared, and it's blue when it's asleep or pacified. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end in a real battle. Really happy I had the chance to teach you, Chris. Aw, you won. Got zero EXP and one D money. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And, er, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. I'm also, I should mention, I am actually using my keyboard. I played through the first... I played through Undertale with a Super Famicom controller, actually. But, I don't know. It, It's not... 
the connection, I guess, or the adapter to the, the computer isn't 100% anymore. So it's a little bit sketchy. And whenever it would unplug, the whole game would completely shut down without saving or anything like that, which is pretty problematic. So even though I'd prefer to have a D-pad to avoid and everything like that, I'll probably just stick with the keyboard for now and tough my way through it. You got the manual. From what I've heard, this game is a lot, uh, a lot shorter than the previous, you know, Undertale, so... I don't think it'll be too big of a problem. Whoa. Oh my, the great door is opened. No wonder Lancer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass, pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But, Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. We can manage to do that. I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the results favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? Interesting, so they're very deliberately, you know, saying it out there right that, like that. Yep, I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Wow, and this door looks so neat. And so I guess here's the, the real deal. So it begins. The door closes behind us. Whoa. The visuals are so cool. But the door closed behind you. Your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. Okay. The field of hopes and dreams. Yo, this music is really good. Oh! Interesting. Rudin drew here. Drew near. Okay, um. Let's see what we can do. Act, check, convince, lecture. Well, we'll lecture. Rudin drew near. Huh? You lecture the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies became tired. Wait, what? Did I click attack at any point? What? Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, I must have told Ralse to a, to attack. Rudin is starting to fall asleep. Okay, well, we'll continue to lecture. And similarly... Oh, does Ralse not have an act thing? Starting to fall asleep. I can't pacify just yet, so we'll defend. Oh my goodness! And look at... Ralse just like wraps up around. You lectured the enemies on the imports of kindness. The enemies became tired. What? Okay. So we probably just have to basically survive a bunch. I, when that, like, white line shows up around the heart, is that because I'm just close to the attack and, like, a near miss and building up TP or something? I don't know. Um, regardless... Oh, Runin looks like... Can we spare? Runin is starting to fall asleep. I mean, I can try to... We, we should be able to just spare him, right? Chris spared, Runin. You won! You got 0 EXP and 36 D money. Yo, this music is so good. If you're reading this, then I guess you're dead. Signed, Lancer. We're dead. Is that an like you're you're dead meat or whatever? Like a threat, or is it like a we're we're actually dead? Hey, don't read the sign. It's a work in progress. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> All right, Lancer, what you got to say? Ho oh, ho! If it isn't my two favorite people, psych! You guys aren't even in my top five. Whoa. <laughs> You mean you don't have me as one of your favorite friends on MySpace, Lancer? <laughs> Lancer! Where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Ho ho ho! You fools! You're too late to stop me. What did you do? <laughs> it was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. That's a bit anticlimactic. That That's all? So, are you just going to stand there? I thought you would at least run to the right. Why? The purple girl's over there. So I guess that's where we're going. Hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. I'm also curious, what what's down here? These types of trees don't contain an item that can heal you. Whatever you do, don't check the tree and use C to open your menu. You got it? <laughs> Side lancer, that's too funny. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Take one? Absolutely. You got the dark candy. 
Can I take the other one? There's a candy hanging from the tree. Take one? Yeah. You got the dark candy. Okay. What does it say? Ooh, this menu looks nice. Items. Uh, key. We have the cell phone toss. The glow shard. A shimmering shard. Its use is unknown. Ralsei's handmade book full of various tips and tricks. Heals 40 HP. That's a lot. A red and black star that tastes like marshmallows. Yum. Okay. Wow, the menus look so clean in this. Power? Huh? Level 1 leader. Commands the party with various acts. Lonely Prince. Dark world being. Has no subjects. Aw, sad face. Kindness is at 100%. There are two other stats I don't know about yet. Interesting. Config, master volume, controls, full screen. Ah, that's how you get it. Auto run off. Mm, that might actually be really nice. Let's try that. End program. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I might deal with this whole uh, auto run thing. We'll battle. It's fine. We got two Rudins. A necklace of Rudins blocks your path. A necklace of them. I feel like there's a pun here going on I'm just not aware of. We got this wool act. We'll, uh, we'll lecture. Can I try convincing? I'm gonna see what it is. A necklace of Rudin's blocks your path. Gotcha. So we'll defend. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'm just a normal person. Ah, uh, yeah. It seems like it's not necessarily when I get hit, but when it's a close call. Rudin dislikes its boss, but doesn't dare, doesn't care enough to quit. Can I spare one of you? Oh, you're good enough to go. So yeah, we'll spare you. Or rather, we'll use Chris to uh, talk to the other one, convince him. Um, and then we can use Ralse to spare the first Rudin. You told Rudin to quit fighting. It was utterly swayed. Ralse spared Rudin. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Should try and uh, cut it close a bit more. So I build up that TP. Cool, so now we can spare you. Chris spared Rudin. You won! You got 0 EXP and 60-90 money! Oh man, this music is so good! What is going on here? Mamma Miba, I'm a top chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion! So I took a little nap. But Mamma Miba! <laughs> a scary noise woke me up! I get it, top chef. Like a, like a spinning top, that's actually really funny. A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water, and it hissed and ran off. But my wonderful cake is... Aw, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. I'm sorry, Top Chef. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece? Absolutely. The broken cake was added to your key items. Key items? Ooh, not a not an exhaustible item, but a key item. We'll, we'll battle. I'm, I'm down. Whoa, what is that down there? Rudin in Hathi. Or Hathi? Block the way. Alright, so we'll we'll get Rudin out of the way first. We'll convince him. And uh, we'll have Ralsei defend. I told Rudin to quit fighting. He was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And what is that, like, heart and mouth? It reminds me of something you find in, like, uh, Alice in Wonderland, you know? Oh man, I actually ran into it. That's unfortunate. How this body beats audibly. Well, it is a heart. Not a physiological heart by any means, but, you know. Um, so let's see what we can do. X... Er... Huh? X flatter or flatter? Well, we'll try flattering, and then we'll spare the first rudin. You told Hathi its teeth look like knives. It began to think about this. I'll say spare rudin. Oh, wow, it- <laughs> the Hathi looks like it's blushing. Aww. Oh, what? How was I supposed to anticipate that? Okay, regardless. Of these body beats audibly, we can spare it. Cool. Chris spared, Hathi. You won. Cool. There are two objects hanging from the tree. Ah, uh, I was gonna say, I feel like we should be able to get the dark candies from these. Let's pick one up. Interesting, they actually disappear from the, the tree themselves. You got a puzzle of some sorts? Cool, check the clock. In order to solve this puzzle, you'll have to hurry. Okay. We just need to like position both of us in a particular way. 
Wait, what is this called? The Maze of Death? What? Behold, the Maze of Death. Prepare to get lost, clowns. Signed, Lancer. I mean, I'm down. Down to clown. What is that on this side? Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lancer. What is, what is this? It's some sort of enemy. Looks like they got clobbered. By Susie, presumably? Hey, wait. Where am I? Help! Somebody help! I'm lost! Signed, Lancer. Oh, man. That's funny. You open the treasure chest. Inside was white ribbon. You put white ribbon in your armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it'd look great on you. Sounds good to me. We will equip for Chris the the white ribbon, which will boost our cuteness and our defense. Now that is a combo I can get behind. Oh, this music is so good. All right, let's try exploring the left. Hey, don't look. The sign's private. Huh? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, it's just this way. Signed, Lancer. Okay, so that's probably the correct way. So naturally, we'll explore over here. Oh, this... What is this? Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clobbering anyone who dares block our way. <laughs> we don't even like fighting. The king left us no choice. Oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie. Quick. And there's nothing up there? All right, cool. So back down we go. And there's Lancer. Oh, ho, ho, somehow you survived the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Because <laughs> that's exactly how it goes. Let's see how you fare against this team. Ooh, three had these blocked the way. So the first one will flatter. And we'll have Ralsei defend because that's all <laughs> Ralsei can really do. You told how the teeth looked like knives and began to think about this. Alright, let's see how the, um... Why does the one in the middle have, like, some hearts as well? Huh? Hey, weren't you guys thrashed? You are totally outnumbered! You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. <laughs> what an analogy. And that's, um, unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? That's pretty funny. So we'll act again on this Hathi. Um, Hathi has a little secret. Ooh, what might that be? Do you have a crush? You told Hathi its teeth look nice, or its teeth look like knives. They began to think about this. Or else they spared Hathi. Cool. So now what? All right, that works for me. So Chris will then act on this one, and Ralsei will spare this one. You told Hathi it has cool tentacles. Oh, nice. Or I'll say spared Hathi. And again, we're gonna... Oh, wait. I see now. It points at whichever way it's gonna move. <laughs> My bad, guys. My bad. Alright, so we'll spare this one. Great job, Chris. We are in 0 EXP and 88 money. Sweet. How much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. Oh. Can I have some of yours? No! Come on, Lancer. Fine. Later, losers. <laughs> Smell you later. Long time no see. No interaction? So, I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> this game definitely has the, the sense of humor, you know, Undertale did. Okay, so we only got a limited amount of time. Let's, let's bring... There we go. Three. How am I supposed to get three? Oh, clearly the intent is to come back after getting Susie. We'll be back. Oh, open up, you stupid door. Oh, great, it's you guys. Susie, we were ever so worried about you. Um... How'd you get past those spikes before? Walk through them. Why aren't you tough stuff? But this door sucks. Aw, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. <laughs> um, we, as in a, a team effort, Susie. Uh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. 
Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark fountain. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. Sounds like a pretty uh, convincing point. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep. Fair enough. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. <laughs> they actually did, Susie. Join the team, or join the party. That is so funny. <laughs> I love the self-awareness of this game. <laughs> Susie follows at a distance. Such that no one can tell she's associated. And they play a fanfare as well. God, I, I, I'm loving this already. This is so funny. And we get our great music again. Alright, so... Plan will be this, and then follow it up with that, and then we'll walk like that. Sounded like a door opened. I wonder which door opened, guys. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. I doubt she's going to be doing that. Whoa, Susie's got a really cool axe. Sea round attacked violently. You recall Ralsei's advice to include Susie in an act. X compliment, okay. Oh, is the X mean it's like a cross action with someone else? You ordered Susie to flatter the, the enemy. What? Why the heck would I do that? It attacked us. Let's smash it before it moves. Aw, oh, look, Susie. It seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your face. What? Where'd you get it? Yikes. Um, Chris, maybe I should talk to her. You won! You got 0 EXP and 15 money. I feel like it stands for dark money. I hope that's not gonna screw over my playthrough now. Um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have the power to make a peaceful future. So, from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell, which can put an exhausted people can put exhausted people to sleep. Yawn. Yeah, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. <laughs> we might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Oh, interesting. What an interesting dynamic. Hey, hey, kid. You wanna buy a tutorial? It's only fifty dark dollars. Wanna buy a tutorial? I'm curious enough to buy it. Really? You'll really buy it? <laughs> right this way, gentle, gentle nurs. We're sorry. We're normally puzzle guys, but oh, they are—they look like puzzle pieces. We've been forced to do tutorials just to make ends meet. When the king got power, he fired everyone and replaced all puzzle makers with him. Roxel's card. Um. I don't know. Lord of the puzzles. Be careful. That's clearly some, you know, anagram of another word. All I can think of is like Dark Souls. <laughs> but I don't I don't know. Be careful. Okay. What are we doing? Pull goals. One dollar monthly tutorial weekly. Ten dollar weekly tutorial monthly. Weekly tutorial monthly. One dollar stop making tutorials. That's funny. I'm Chris Master. Ask me about Chris's. <laughs> That's really funny. Acting. If you only act, you might start to think. What about the guy with the scarf in pink? If you know acting will make the enemy friendly, then you can ask me to spare on the same turn. Oh, is that because Chris will always be faster? Or cast pacify if you know they'll get tired. If you plan ahead, a lot can happen in one turn. Hey, who's the master here? Me or you? <laughs> Why do they have like different, oh, they have hats on for all the different like pronged spots. Or no, they just have differing numbers of hats on, I guess. Okay. Fact, it's a good idea to give us bucks. It'll make you happy and fill you with lux. Over there is our donation hole. We had a box, but it got stole. <laughs> okay. Um, what about reviving? When HP goes negative, negative, not zero, negative, your friends fall down. But bringing them back is easy town. Plain foods and spells work like a charm. And with a mint, you can cure all harm. Even normal items and spells can revive people, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Interesting. So it's not like a person becomes dead when their HP drops to zero. 
It just goes negative, and they're no longer usable while they're in the negative, but they can be revived with any normal healing spell. I don't think I've ever seen a game do that before. Interesting. I'm a Susie Master. Ask me about Susies. Susie always attacks, the foe on top. She'll smash them with a crushing chop. She always strikes at the first thing she sees. Oh no. Oh no, she's looking at me! Darn, so we're gonna have to find some way to prevent her from actually killing things. Susie loves when you give us money. She will... Nope. Don't care. Did I say something funny? Alright, let's ask about the warning. When Chris uses warning, Susie can't hit, so make sure to... So there's no reason to use it. T unless, unless you wanted not to hurt. So there's no reason! <laughs> Yikes. And I'm Ralsei Master. Ask me about Ralsei's. We'll start with healing. Ralsei is a spell that heals, dude. Why use that when you can eat food? Because you won't have to use up an item? I could have avoided all those empty calories? These are funny. Ralsei loves when you give us money. He will hug you and call you honey. Hey, that's not true. You don't need money to get me to do that. Aw, Ralsei, you're so sweet. Ralsei spells called pacify. Use it on babies before they cry. What? It safely removes a tired enemy from combat. What if you're fighting a baby? <laughs> These guys are funny. I'm TP Master. Ask me about TPs. TP only lasts inside a fight. Once you win, it's out of sight. Having extra feels unbearable. No point in saving. It's straight up terrible. But leftover TP turns into extra money at the end of battle. You mean I only should have been using one square? That's really funny. But that's good to know that extra TP leads to more money. So obviously the closer you dodge and everything, the more reward you get in the battle. That's pretty cool. You get TP when you defend. Protect yourself, then cast spells, friend. You also get TP by getting close to bullets. Look for the heart outline when you get close to bullets. You rhymed bullets with bullets. Because it's important! <laughs> Man, I, I, I love the dialogue in these games. TP, what's TP? That's what lets you cast spells, see? When you see that orange bar, cast some spells when it's filled up by far. TP, it's quite a caper. TP stands for toilet paper. No, it stands for tension points. Ah, I was gonna say, why does it what does it actually stand for? Tension points, given how you get it, makes a lot of sense actually. What? Really? That's funny. Um, how much money do we have? We have 264 dark money. Donation hole. If you like our tutorials, please throw your money into a hole. We'll throw a dollar. You put a dollar in the hole. The hole became full. The hole is filled to the brim with cash. Okay. Hole goals. One dollar monthly tutorial weekly. When, wait, monthly tutorial weekly? That's funny. Weekly tutorial monthly. Um, I feel like I should be able to eventually, you know, fill the, the hole or something like that. The king didn't even give us severance pay. His son just gave us all beanies. Itchy beanies. That's funny. Alright, there's a shop here. We can take a look at what's inside. Whoa, you have seen better days, my friend. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome, travelers. You have to say about yourself. The name seem pronounced Shom. Okay, Shom. And this is my little shop. <laughs> Seep, obviously pronounced shop. Ha 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 ha. Over the years, I've collected odds and ends. Of course, I have no attachment to any of it. It's just a hobby of mine. Around here, you learn to find ways to pass the time, or go mad like everyone else. What is that in the background with bunny ears? Okay. Lightners, what are that? Long ago, the Darkners lived in harmony with the Lightners. They were like gods to us, our protectors, our creators, those who gave us purpose. Then one day, we were all locked away in this prison, and the Lightners never returned. And better, the king took up arms and aims to take revenge upon the Lightners that left us behind. Of course, even among his troops, some still distantly hope the Lightners will return. Okay, so we got a little bit of backstory here. Historically, this land was ruled by the four kings, from Card Castle to the east. But recently, a strange knight appeared, and three of the kings were locked away. A strange knight, interesting. And given Card Castle and Lancer's appearance of a spade, I, I think we've got our theme going on. The remaining king put him and his strange son into power. This land hasn't seen this much chaos since... <laughs> well, you don't need to know about that. What is that? Um, don't have anything better to do, lol. Uh, we're legendary. So you are the heroes who are going to seal our fountain? 
<laughs> Good luck. Makes no difference to me. Neither light nor dark hold a future for a darkener in my condition. Aw. Sorry to hear that, friend. Now, now, what can we buy? We have dark candy, a dark burger, an amber card. A defensive charm that... So, would boost the defenses of Susie and Ralse, but not for uh, Chris. Spooky sword is obviously not something we need to buy. I think Susie's probably pretty bulky as is. I'll buy an amber card for Ralse and see how it goes. And I don't know how much we're going to actually find stuff along the way, so I don't want to be, you know, completely spent of all my of my dark money. Which I believe is what it's called, right? So let's go ahead and equip that. Cool. And then we have a save spot. Susie, the Violet Tormentor. The Violet Tormentor. What a... Oh man, what are these called? They're called Epi-somethings, right? I, I remember learning about these in, in literature class. They're, they're so common in stuff like the Odyssey. Is it an epi epitome? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. One of you will be able to tell me, I'm sure. Is now your ally. The power of Mean Girls shines within you. Okay. So we're at Shom's shop. And I'm curious what's beyond here. Ooh, there's a door and Lancer. Can I... Wait, is this not a door? It's a lone door frame, but for some reason you can't see through it. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Well, flip my flapjacks. The clowns are back in town. Well, bad news. Since you last saw me several minutes ago, I've created a brand new fighting team ready to stop you. Not even the purple girl can stop me now. Ho ho ho. Are you ready to be... Stop. Stop talking. Ho ho ho. What is that? What are you- why are you saying that? Ho ho ho? It's my evil laugh. Scary, right? You sound like baby Santa Claus. <laughs> Called out. Uh, you mean like in a bad way? Shut up. Susie. Susie! You really think you know how to be scary? Well, I... Wrong. Man, want to be tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary if it picked you up and bit your face off. That's not true. Oh, really? Then why don't we prove it? Yikes, we'll start with the part where your face gets bit off. Yikes, Susie's, uh, Susie's lost it. Oh, okay, I get it. Thank you, purple girl. What? Thanks, it was kind of you to teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. Hey, I wasn't. <laughs> now she's getting played. And now, you're going to be thrashed. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> I guess that's kind of an improvement. A board of jigsawries. <laughs> it's either jigsaw like awry or jigsawries and like sorry. That's actually really funny. Um, so with Chris, we're gonna have to warn, I believe, right? You and Ralse warned the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. H hurting people is cool. I, I have a red payment to make. A what? Oh, darn. That was a lot closer than I would have liked. Like, sorry, I was wishing it could quit its job. What's unfortunate is that it requires both Ralse and... Oh, in general, they're warned. Okay, so they're still in the warned, like, condition. So I should be able to, uh, do other actions. Because I was going to say, how are we going to be able to actually, like, act and spare people if we're just warning them every turn? And it requires both Chris and Ralsei. But no, we're good. Okay, so we'll befriend. Jigsaw is wishing it could quit its job. Uh, I anticipate sparing that Jigsaw, so we'll do that. You barely lifted a finger, and... Of course I'll be your friend! Aw, Wait, all of them are like that? Or I'll say spare jig, sorry. All of them did that. Interesting. We're friends now, la la! <laughs> oh, they linger there for quite some time. That was not what I expected, but it's fine. Oh, why is Ralse the only one taking damage? Jig, sorry, he's trying to calculate this month's rent. So we can spare you, and they're still worn, so we're good. And then Ralse can spare as well. Chris Spare Jigsawry. 
Ross, I spare jig, sorry. Cool, we're good. You won! Got zero EXP and 65 dark money. Nice. So, let's go back and heal up, because I don't want to use any of my TP or anything like that. Or rather, I wonder, because I use TP to cast spells... Interesting, I probably can't actually use these spells outside of battle. That's good to know, that's good to know, and that's definitely different from a bunch of the other, uh, you know, games I've played that have these types of spells for healing and all. So, we're gonna save there, and we're probably gonna continue with this in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, I'm really enjoying the game so far. The characters, the battle system, the music, the dialogue, it's all just as great as I remember, it, um, you know, Undertale being. And it's a blast to see that they've improved on it, right? They've The visuals, the battle system is really fun as well. Throwing, you know, a little bit more of a different uh, turn-based, party-based mechanics in there. The music, the menus, all, all that jazz. You know, I'm, I'm having a blast and I hope you guys are too. But anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.